Today, on our live stream broadcast, you'll discover the latest ArcGIS release bringing new capabilities you've been asking for. Enhancements that redefine what's possible with your work as told directly from the product development teams. Modernizing GIS workflows. New approaches help bridge the gap between local communities and the Bureau of Land Management as they take on increasingly complex challenges. A nation in crisis and responding. As professionals race to build tools to understand the spread of the global pandemic and inform decision-making for response efforts, the team from Johns Hopkins University shares their story of mapping a defining moment in world health. Lending a helping hand. The Seneca Nation uses GIS to preserve their land and traditions, extending those capabilities during the pandemic to prioritize support for their most vulnerable populations. And things are heating up everywhere. Scientist, geologist, and astronaut Dr. Kathy Sullivan speaks frankly with Esri President Jack Dangerman on climate change and the importance of having a conversation for greater understanding. Your GIS News begins now. Welcome everyone. I'm James Sullivan coming at you live from our own Studio 100B in Esri's DC regional office. As you can likely tell, we're doing things a little different this morning intending to brighten up your day as we bring you key GIS updates from our users and product development teams. While you're likely physically attending from the same quarantine home office you've been in for months now, we're going to treat you to a virtual trip from DC to California across America as we bring you the GIS news for Wednesday, February 24th. First up, the headline report on new ArcGIS capabilities. Released in December 2020, the latest version of ArcGIS Pro contains a wealth of enhancements aimed at increasing the speed and efficiency with which you complete your work. From the ability to connect directly to a GNNS device, to cartographic upgrades like blending modes and the new fan favorite eyedropper, to 67 new geoprocessing tools, this release contains something for everyone. Also released in December, the current version of ArcGIS Online improves your experience configuring web application templates, getting started with notebooks, managing your data, and securing your information by enforcing the use of HTTPS in modern browsers. In other exciting news, Esri released a new product last month, ArcGIS Platform. This is a location platform as a service designed to bring powerful mapping and location capabilities to the global developer community. This means they'll get an excellent de developer experience through Esri's API and open source mapping libraries to leverage a comprehensive set of industry leading capabilities, all packaged in a straightforward and open business model. As for what's on the horizon, well, if you're currently working with Kubernetes and maintaining a complex multi-machine ArcGIS enterprise environment, the next release of Enterprise, expected in late spring, has something just for you. ArcGIS Enterprise on Kubernetes. This new cloud-native architecture offers a more resilient, maintainable, and scalable deployment option to meet your needs. That's it for the headlines. Now let's go to some home offices of our software development staff for an exclusive insider look at what they're working on. 